Do you know that more than 20 million people in the United States may have some level of kidney disease and many of them don't even know it? Kidney disease is a serious condition that can affect your heart, bones, immune system, and even your brain. It can also lead to kidney failure, which requires dialysis or a transplant to survive. But did you know that some of your daily habits you do every day without thinking can be damaging your kidneys without you knowing about it? In this video, we will reveal 10 daily habits that can damage your kidneys and how to stop them before it's too late. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Taking too many painkillers. A lot of people use over-the-counter painkillers, like NSAIDs and analgesics, to ease their pain. But these drugs can severely harm your kidneys, especially if you have kidney disease or take them a lot or in high doses. The National Kidney Foundation says that NSAIDs can lower the blood flow to the kidneys and cause inflammation and scarring in the kidney tissue. Analgesics, like acetaminophen and aspirin, can also damage your kidneys if you take them too often or in large amounts. So what can you do to protect your kidneys from painkillers? The best thing is to use them as little as possible and never go over the recommended dose. If you have chronic pain, talk to your doctor about other ways to deal with it, like physical therapy, acupuncture, or meditation. Number two, eating too much salt. Salt is very important for your body. It helps to maintain fluid balance and nerve and muscle function. But too much of it can be very bad for your kidneys. That is because salt has sodium, which can raise your blood pressure and make your kidneys work harder to get rid of the extra fluid and sodium from your body. High blood pressure can damage the tiny blood vessels in your kidneys and reduce their ability to filter your blood. In fact, it is one of the main causes of kidney damage and kidney failure. So how much salt is too much? The American Heart Association says you should limit your sodium intake to no more than 2,300 milligrams per day, which is about one teaspoon of salt. But most people eat way more than that, mostly from processed foods that are high in sodium, like canned soups, frozen meals, snacks, sauces, and condiments. To cut down on salt, try to eat more fresh fruits and veggies. Cook your own food from scratch using herbs and spices instead of salt and read nutrition labels carefully when buying packaged foods. Number three, ignoring urination urges. Do you ever hold your pee when you are busy or don't have a bathroom nearby? If you do, you may be putting your kidneys at risk. When you ignore your urination urges, you are letting urine stay longer in your bladder, which can make bacteria grow and lead to urinary tract infections. UTIs can be painful and annoying, and if you don't treat them, they can spread to your kidneys and cause serious damage. So what can you do to prevent UTIs and protect your kidneys? The best thing is to listen to your body and go to the bathroom when you need to. Don't hold your pee for more than four hours and try to empty your bladder completely every time you pee. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number four, not getting enough sleep. Sleep is essential for your health and well being. But did you know that sleep also affects your kidney health? Your kidneys follow a circadian rhythm or a natural 24 hour cycle that regulates their function and activity. When you sleep, your kidneys reduce their workload and rest. When you wake up, your kidneys resume their normal function and filter more blood. This cycle helps your kidneys maintain their efficiency and balance. But when you don't get enough sleep, your circadian rhythm is disrupted, and your kidneys can't perform their job properly. According to a study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, people who slept less than 5 hours per night had a 65% higher risk of developing kidney disease than those who slept seven to eight hours per night. Another study found that people who slept more than nine hours per night also had a higher risk of kidney disease, suggesting that both too little and too much sleep can be harmful. The recommended amount of sleep for adults is seven to nine hours per night. To improve your sleep quality and quantity, try to follow a regular sleep schedule. Avoid caffeine, alcohol, nicotine, 
and heavy meals before bed. Limit screen time and exposure to bright light at night. Create a comfortable and dark sleeping environment and practice relaxation techniques such as meditation, yoga, or breathing exercises. Number five, eating lots of meat. Protein is a very good nutrient for your body, but too much animal protein can be bad for your kidneys. Animal protein makes a lot of acid in the blood that can hurt the kidneys and cause acidosis, which is a condition where kidneys can't get rid of acid fast enough. This can lead to kidney stones, bone loss, muscle wasting, and chronic kidney disease. So how much protein do you need? Well, the dietary reference intake for protein is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight per day for adults. This means that an average person who weighs 70 kilograms or 154 pounds needs about 56 grams of protein per day. But this amount may change depending on your age, activity level, health status, and personal preferences. To keep your protein intake balanced and moderate, try to eat more plant-based sources of protein in your diet, like beans, lentils, nuts, seeds, tofu, and quinoa. These foods are not only high in protein, but also low in acid and high in fiber and antioxidants. Number six, not drinking enough water. Water is essential for life and for your kidneys. Water helps your kidneys flush out toxins and waste products from your body. Without enough water, these waste products can build up and cause problems like kidney stones and chronic kidney disease. In fact, drinking plenty of water is one of the best ways to avoid kidney problems and keep them working well. So how much water do you need? The amount of water you need depends on many factors, such as your age, weight, activity level, climate, and health conditions. A general rule of thumb is to drink at least 1.5 to 2 liters of water per day. However, you may need more or less depending on your individual needs. To stay hydrated, drink water throughout the day, especially before, during, and after exercise or when you feel thirsty. You can also drink other fluids such as herbal teas, juices, or soups, but avoid drinks that have caffeine, alcohol, or sugar as they can dehydrate you and harm your kidneys. Number seven, eating processed foods. Processed foods are foods that have been altered from their natural state, usually by adding salt, sugar, fat, preservatives, or artificial flavors and colors. They are convenient and tasty, but they are also very bad for your kidneys. That is because processed foods are high in sodium and phosphorus, two minerals that can cause high blood pressure and kidney stones if consumed in excess. High blood pressure puts a strain on your kidneys, while kidney stones are painful deposits of minerals that form in your urinary tract. According to a study published in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases, people who ate more processed foods had higher levels of phosphorus in their blood, which can lead to kidney damage over time. So what can you do to avoid processed foods? Try to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Cook your own meals at home as much as possible and use herbs and spices instead of salt to flavor your food. Read the nutrition labels on packaged foods and choose low sodium and low phosphorus options. Number eight, not exercising enough. Exercise helps you maintain a healthy weight, which reduces the risk of obesity and diabetes, two of the leading causes of kidney disease. Exercise also helps lower blood pressure which protects your kidneys from damage. According to a study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, people who exercised regularly had a significantly lower risk of developing kidney disease than those who did not. The recommended amount of exercise for adults is at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity physical activity per week. You can also do muscle strengthening exercises at least twice a week. Number nine, smoking. Smoking is one of the worst habits you can have for your health in general, but especially for your kidneys. Smoking damages your blood vessels, which reduces the blood flow to your kidneys. This can impair their ability to function properly and filter out waste and toxins. Smoking also increases your risk of developing kidney cancer, 
one of the most common types of cancer. According to a study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, smokers had a 60% higher risk of developing kidney failure than non-smokers. So the most important thing here is to stop smoking as soon as possible. Remember that quitting smoking is not only good for your kidneys, but also for your lungs, heart, brain, skin, teeth, and overall well-being. Number 10. Drinking too much alcohol. Alcohol is a diuretic, which means it makes you urinate more often. This can dehydrate you and make your kidneys work harder to maintain the fluid balance in your body. Alcohol also affects the liver, which produces a substance called urea that is filtered by the kidneys. When you drink too much alcohol, your liver produces more urea than your kidneys can handle, which can cause kidney damage. So what can you do to limit your alcohol intake? The recommended limit for alcohol consumption is no more than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. If you drink alcohol, drink it slowly and with food and alternate with water or other non-alcoholic beverages. Avoid drinking on an empty stomach or when you are thirsty or tired. Your kidneys are vital organs that deserve your care and attention. By avoiding these 10 habits, you can improve your kidney health and prevent or delay the progression of kidney disease. Remember that prevention is always better than cure. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you have some of these habits? Did you know they were harming your kidneys before watching the video? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.